Are you right-brained or are you left-brained? A left-brained person is said to be more logical, analytical, and objective, while a right-brained person is said to be more intuitive, thoughtful, and subjective. Which one are you? Well, I know the answer and I've never even met you. You are neither. There is no such thing as right-brained or left-brained. It is just a myth, like dragons, the Loch Ness Monster, and Eskimos. Okay, maybe not Eskimos. According to the myth, you can be right-brain dominant or left-brain dominant. Each side of the brain controls different types of thinking. Where does this myth come from? From the same people who brought us Santa Claus and the Flat Earth Society? Well, no. Like many popular psychology myths, this one grew out of observation about the human brain that were then dramatically distorted and exaggerated. So basically, this Nobel Prize winning doctor, Dr. Roger Sperry, aka a really smart guy, discovered if you cut the corpus callosum, the structure that connects the two hemispheres of the brain, that this would eliminate or reduce seizures in epileptic patients. Now that this was cut, the two sides of the brain could no longer communicate. During these studies, Sperry determined which parts or sides of the brain were involved in language, math, drawing, and other functions. Then, other psychology enthusiasts ran with this idea and took it to an unintended level, creating the notion that personalities and other human attributes are determined by having one side of the brain dominant over the other. Sperry discovered that these two sides of the brain acted like independent entities. If they put a quarter in the hand of one of these patients, the patient could determine it was a quarter with the right side of the brain, the so-called artistic side. But in this study, the sides of the brain couldn't communicate. So the left side of the brain didn't know and couldn't tell you it was a quarter. How could an artist be an artist without communicating? Being an artist is about expression. You need both sides of your brain to be an artist. In 2011, Jeff Anderson from the University of Utah completed over a two-year study where he looked at 1,011 brain MRIs from people ranging in age from 7 to 29. He found no relationship that people preferentially use the right or left side of their brain. Certain tasks we spend more on one side or the other, but you don't have a stronger side. Your brain has networks for things like artistic ability and networks for math. These networks span your entire brain. So why are some people more artistic, for example? It's not because your brain has a dominance, but it's because this network has been more developed. It's true that some brain functions occur on one side of the brain or the other. Language tends to be on the left, attention more on the right. But people don't tend to have a stronger left or right side brain network. We just don't see patterns where the whole left brain network is more connected and the whole right brain network is more connected in some people. It's a myth that science doesn't support. So share this with your friends who still believe in right brain, left brain myth. If you would like some proven insight on how to understand your brain and train your brain to think quicker, sharper, and improve your memory, then click the link below. Oh, like, share, subscribe, and as always, again, click the link below for real brain training that works and isn't a myth.